What's more difficult, winning an Olympic gold medal or raising a healthy kid? I'm gonna say raising a healthy kid because you quickly realize as a mom that you are fully responsible. <laughs> you gotta get them fed, you gotta get the right nutrition in them. And, um, and that's one of the things I think being an athlete actually helped me with is when I was playing, you quickly realize I I've, I've gotta have the right fuel in my body. To, to get through the 75th, 80th minute of a soccer game. Uh, and it's the same thing with kids. You have to, from a young age, give them the proper nutrition because that's when your brain is forming, that's when their body is developing, and there is a body of science that says if we can really focus in on those first two years and take care of the mom as well and what she eats, then the child will grow up to be not just strong in body but strong in mind as well. Nutrition was absolutely critical in helping me reach my Olympic goals, but it's funny because I didn't realize it until later in life, the importance of it. And, um, and it's one of the reasons why I love what Thousand Days is doing is because you're making people aware of the importance of it. What you put in your body absolutely matters. And it wasn't until I was playing at the highest level and you, and you have to have that energy and that fuel source that I realized I'm not doing a good enough job here of what I'm putting in my body. And so now as a mom, I'm so conscious of it because of that. So I'm very grateful for, for learning sometimes the hard way <laughs> that the importance of nutrition. Uh, as a mom, I encourage healthy eating for my kids uh, by simply setting a good example. I think that's the, the most important thing, right? What you eat, they're going to eat, and they're going to nibble, and they're going to try. So if you're constantly uh, eating French fries or fried foods, or I mean, I, and I, I'm not saying cut that out entirely, but you have to be conscious about well-rounded, nutritional, getting all your food groups in, getting the right nutrients in, because kids see that, and they see that from a very young age when you don't even realize it. My perspective on health and nutrition absolutely changed when I became a mom because then it's not just yourself and especially breastfeeding, right? I, I, I realized what I put in my body immediately affected my child and both my daughter Izzy and my son Declan, I mean, they would react immediately. And I mean, that's the first form of recognition, like, wow, it matters, right? It's going to them. So it, it absolutely becomes a priority because you're not just thinking about yourself. And that's the beauty of being a mom is, is there's a greater community and you have these kids and they are under your care and uh, the most important thing we can give them is the right start and 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 it and you can do that by by simply being conscious of what you're feeding them I think the key ingredients to nourishing the next generation are making people aware that we need to do a better job of this malnutrition is responsible for half of childhood deaths globally, half. I mean, that is a staggering statistic when you think of it, and so preventable. So it's why I care so deeply about spreading the message of as moms, right, as family members, we have to think about what we're giving our kids. We have to think about what we're putting in our bodies. And if we can start there and set a good example, then I think that next generation will reap the benefits of that. The best advice I've received on nutrition is, is balance. Right, and that I, I tend to go through a lot of Lucky Charms and a lot of donuts <laughs> and a lot of starchy, sugary foods. And again, as an athlete, you quickly realize that's not going to work. Right, I'm, not, I'm just not fueling my body the way I need to. And so you figure out, I need my carbohydrates and I need my nutrients and my protein and my dairies and my fruits and vegetables and all the different things. And so I already am talking with my kids about, you know, imagining the plate and, and dividing it up and it's a pie. And you really want to try and get as much of those as you can. So all about balance. I think that's the best advice I got at an early age.